Welcome to the world of Joan. And today, you're cooking with Joan again. And guess what? We're doing daylilies. So you're the one. Daylilies? Yes, this is that flower that you see. I want to tell you what a difference between a daylily and the other flower. A daylily runs around in her birthday suit. That means no clothes on. The other flower that you see has the similar petals and everything, but has leaves all the way up it. That one runs around with her clothes on. So when you see them, the daylilies are edible. That's the one you run around with without their clothes on in their birthday suits. They're feeling happy, going shrieking, yay, like back in the 70s when I was a kid. So, and then, of course, like the ones you don't eat, that's poisonous, is the ones that's got their clothes on with the leaves going up. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to show you three simple things of cooking daylilies. But you can do countless things. We're going to cook the flowers. Now, you can boil them or you can fry them. And then we're going to do the bubs. And you can make a, uh, a mix and dip these down in and make a, you know, one of those fritters with it. And we are going to take the stem and we're going to cook it. Now, I've cheated. You can see here already, I've done cooked the stems. So that way, I don't have to worry about it. Now they get a little greasy, so you might want to, you know, blog them off or whatever. So what we're going to do is, I've got my skillet back on. We're going to throw these in here. One of, so we're going to throw them in there. Let them start cooking. I'm bad. I cut this thing down. And I forgot to cut it, all, cut it back on. So it'll take a minute. But I want to tell you about the benefits. Uh, Jay Lilies. A flower can be just a flower that looks pretty and day lilies look so beautiful in the yard and you see them in yards. But they are edible. Well, this hair makes a good switch, don't it? Oh, don't say no, no, I say that because I don't want to get in trouble on it. The original day lily, like I said, they started doing uh, other day lilies back in the 1930s, creating different breeds. There's a few of them that's really not edible. It's not nutrition. But I'll tell you what, these things are full of nutrition. Do you know they have calcium in them? Yes. Guess what? If you're allergic to milk or you don't drink milk or you're a vegetarian, I don't, my friend Vicky out there, she's going to show me some vegetable dishes, vegetarian dishes down the road. Now, I don't know if she uses milk or not. So you know what? Calcium, potassium, vitamin A and C and so many good things. These here are used for to help you sleep with. They was used for analactic poisoning as an antidote. And it was just countless wonderful benefits. I want to tell you what, these plants, you can harvest this all year long. You can take these pods. Now, I want to tell you, just like harvesting anything, don't take more than you need. Always leave a few seeds, a few pods and things. And don't uproot all the plants because you can use the... the little nodules off the roots, and eat them. They say you can eat the leaves. I don't think I want to try them. But you know what? I might down the road. Now, you got to remember something. If I'm cooking it, I'm trying it. If I'm telling you about an edible plant, I'm not going to tell you about an edible plant unless I'm willing to cook it and try it. So, that's how it is on that. So, I want to tell you what. It don't take but a minute for these to get done. I think I want to go ahead and just take the skillet. They look like they're cooking up pretty good. We're going to go ahead and cut this skillet off. And just let it finish cooking for a minute. So I'm going to tell you what. Next year, when you're planting flowers, plant flowers you can eat. Think about it. With the cost of living the side, if you have health issues like diabetes or blood pressure or fiber, I have fibromyalgia. There is a Day I don't hurt, but you know what? I gotta figure out how to keep going. I've got to get the vitamins in my body. I gotta figure out what I can and can't eat. And one thing I can't eat is a lot of this stuff is in the stores now. They are not good for you. They have the byproducts in it and the preservatives in it, and they're good tasting, and you want to eat them all day long. And they got 350 milligrams of salt in some of them. Not saying anything's wrong with them. You know, you can turn around, and fix those things up, and add them on with some other stuff, and they won't be, you know, they won't bother you. But that's your choice if you want to eat like that. Me, I'm getting back to nature, and I want you to join me eating food from the land. Eating food from the land. Join me, and as we try these wonderful foods, I want to tell you something. The daylilies, 
If you like a sweet resin like a balsamic vinegar, take some of the daylilies, grind them up, you know, make a, a, a mulch, a, a puree out of it, put it in a jar, take some vinegar of your favorite kind, whether it's red wine or whatever, and turn around and pour that vinegar in and some water in it, put it up in the refrigerator, let it marinate overnight, and then you know what? Make you that wonderful salad you like. You know, I got a friend who loves all that sweet salad with the strawberries and the raisins and the nuts and all that. And if you like those kind of salads, you're going to love that kind of dressing. That balsamic vinegar, you won't want it no more after you make your own day lily dressing. Wow, how good is that? So, now, you and I, as the doctors say, how are we doing today? I'm going to try this out, and you're going to watch. And then you all, I'm not going to, I too up. You see this face? I show everything. So, these ears had a chance. Now, they're a little stiff. You know, they, they, they're they a little tough to eat. But they taste good. They have a nice good taste though. I really would recommend boiling these instead of frying them up if you can help it because they will take a lot of bit of chewing. And where's the bugs? Oh, they taste like green beans. They got this nice flavor to them. Now you don't have to fry these. You can boil them. You can wrap them up with something like foil or whatever. Uh, roast them, you know, to a campfire or whatever. Bake them in the oven. Oh, those are wonderful. These are delicious. These are chewy. I don't know if I want to cook that part. I would say I would try to boil them and see how they do. Now, this flour is still a little hot. Oh, got this nice sweet taste to it. Now, of course, these are loaded with oil. This is just like southern fried food. I won't tell you what. Southern fried food, they didn't spare the oil. Maybe that's why my butt's so big now. I won't tell you why. I go to the gym, and this is advice to everybody. Just because I have limitations like fibromyalgia, and I had a knee replacement, and I have physical limits, does not mean I don't get out and exercise. I go to the gym. I do the water workout. I run back and forth across the gym. I do my exercises in the water. I have my free weights. This butt ain't going down. Don't matter what I do. Don't matter. I could starve myself to death and eat the five small meals a day. It's not going down. I'm going to tell you what. My butt don't catch up to the rest of me five minutes later. It's still back there. But that's all right. Because you know what? If you don't like the way I am and you don't love my big butt, kiss my grits out of jail. Because somebody else will. They will like my butt. But I love myself. So, I'm going to tell you what. Taste the knees? I don't think I want to. Now, they might be better if you boil them. These here taste like a green bean. Oh, um, they're good. The flowers, again, have a nice sweet taste. Mmm, they're wonderful. I want to give a shout out to my friend Vicky. Who lives about four and a half hours from me. I'm hoping she does move up this way. So she'll be closer. Because I want to try out some of her dishes. I'm a sweet talker and get on YouTube. So y'all tell her I want her on YouTube. And I haven't forgot about that Carly Dot Flyer. Matter of fact down the road I'm going to be grinding up some. And I will be sending you a bag. So remember. You've got potassium. You've got calcium. You have got 2% protein in these things. you got vitamin A. Vitamin C. you got ricin. These here are anti-inflammatory. These here are wonderful. It tastes like a green bean. The flour still got that little sweet taste to it. You can roast them. You can boil them. You can take the flowers as well as the stems and dice those flowers up real fine and mix them in with a salad. How wonderful is that? Give it that nice little sweet taste. Next time you do that salad dressing I was telling about, top of some of those flowers and add it into the salad. Don't tell your friends that you're eating off the land. How wonderful is that? So, from the world of Joe, join me on more down the line. Be happy.
happy. Be safe. Bless all you fine folks.